Okay, in this quick video I'll just show you how to make some St. Patrick's Day bingo cards using software called Bingo Card Printer, which you can download from bingocardprinter.com. Software is compatible with all version, recent versions of Windows on the PC, uh, including Windows 7, Windows 8. It isn't compatible with Windows RT for your tablet, though, however. So anyway, we're now looking at the main screen of Bingo Card Printer, um, and what I'll do is I click Create New Bingo Card Project, and now I'm going to create some St. Patrick's Day themed bingo card for the St. Patrick's Day holiday. Uh, I could choose a blank card and enter my own word list, or if I go to the Holidays tab here, um, there's various holidays listed. If I scroll down, I'll find um, St. Patrick's Day there, and I could either then use that word as it word list as it is, or modify it by, for example, adding my own words or deleting words or so forth. So let's highlight that. I either double click on it or click on it once and click OK. So I double click it, and I've got my list of St. Patrick's Day words here. A sample bingo card with those words in alphabetical order um, as they are on this list here. Um, if I was to modify the list, um, so for example, let's add um, uh, another word, let's add a word Irish, which is not on the list. It's going to appear at the bottom of the list, the words are in the same order as I enter them. So if I want to resort it, I have to actually use a menu here to sort it. I can also delete words. So for example, if I want to delete island, I could highlight it and press delete. Modify it. There's lots of tools for manipulating the word list. The sample bingo card is um, the same order as this word list, but the real bingo cards will have the words in a different order. I can also change the size of the bingo cards. 3x3, three 4x4. Three, four four. We'll stick with 5x5 five five for now. Change whether or not to have the headline on the card. I could change the text of the headline. Choose whether or not to have the free space in the middle of the bingo card. Um, and I can use a menu here to change the fonts and colours. So let's change the colours, for example. Let's make it a checkerboard of uh, white background and sorry, green background, seeing as the Irish colours are white and green. Maybe we will make the free space. Let's have an orange square. Orange is also another colour associated with iron, of course. And we'll make the heading orange as well. So there's my. Uh, I think I must have chosen something wrong there. Maybe I've chosen the wrong um, background colour for this, but I need to choose white rather than black. So there. Okay, there we are. Coloured it in how I like it. As you see, I can correct any mistakes I wanted. I can also change the fonts. Uh, but we assume that I'm happy with that. I'm now ready to print my bingo cards. Um, but these are the options relating to printing here. Printing a call list, but basically that gives you a sheet with these words in. Um, random order. It's useful if you're using the bingo card in a classroom situation, you're the teacher or something like that. Um, you can turn it off if you don't want it, but I'll leave it on so you can see what it looks like. How many bingo cards do you want per page? You can put more than one bingo card on a page to save space if you want. Um, up to four on a page. I'll leave one on a page for now so it's nice and easy to read on the screen. And how many different bingo cards do you want to print? Now this is the real power of the software. Every bingo card will contain a different uh, combination of the words with the fields um, words laid out randomly and I can choose between 1 and 9,999 so let's put in 100 and you'll see how quick it is to print 100 bingo cards. Now uh, I you're going to be able to see my printer so I'm going to do print preview so you can see on the screen what it looks like. Okay the first page is my word list that's a list of words in random order so I could use that if I was a bingo caller. If I um, zoom out so you can see the whole page and then we'll go to the next page which has got the first bingo card on it. There you are the words are laid out randomly. Uh, and if I do next page, you see the next car page has got a different combination of um, words and so on, down on 50 pages. So how quick was that? Um, so that's basically it. The software is called Bingo Card Printer. The website is bingocardprinter.com. There's a free trial version which you can download, or the full version of software which is what's shown in this video. Uh, and um, that's basically it. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. There is a lot more to the software than this. You can produce bingo cards on all sorts of different other activities as well. Um, there's hundreds of ready-to-use activities with the software. You can make your own word list. Check it out. Thank you very much.